Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is May 28th and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery. This is actually yesterday and we're going to take a trip through yesterday and see that uh, thunderstorm development there across some of the Sierra Nevada near Reno off to the east of Lake Tahoe. If you look closely you can see those lightning strikes there. In fact, let me back up a little bit one more time. I just updated there. But you can see we had quite a few lightning strikes as we went through the day yesterday including some across northeast California, northwest Nevada and on in through Oregon. And now we scroll on into this morning here and you can kind of see the sun rising the marine layers in across the los angeles san diego metro up the central coast and including the bay area there are some clear areas though across some of northern california that are out there and you can kind of see that system moving through the pacific northwest some high clouds stretching down across northern california as we speak if we take a look at things now there is some stronger winds off the coastline here there's some gale warnings some small craft advisories there still is a wind advisory here just to the east of tehachapi and so we're gonna have some strong winds this afternoon across some of the higher terrain we'll take a look at that here in a moment as well warmer weather ahead national weather service sacramento calling attention to this and you can see some highs getting up towards the upper 90s here coming up this is from may 30th through june 1st coming up as we go through thursday and saturday we'll take a look at the high temperatures today of course uh, stay on the coastline there if you like the cooler temperatures you know some 60s and low 70s to be at palm springs and thermal 102 degrees out there so yeah definitely warming up here this time of year you can see ontario about 79 right now uh, actually for today yeah coming up here so yeah, stay on the coast for the cool and go inland if you want the heat. And if you didn't know, today's National Hamburger Day Outlook, according to the National Weather Service, Las Vegas, Laughlin 103, you can see Lake Havasu City 104 in Las Vegas, trying to get to 100 degrees today, May 28th, 99 is the forecast high. And if we take a look at this day in weather history, look at this, two brief water spouts occurred five miles west of Laguna Beach there. So you can get interesting weather this time of year. And you can see they even captured some of these lenticular clouds there way back in 2011. So so there's always something interesting if you're willing to look for it uh, weather wise there pretty much anywhere you live now if we take a look here at the european at 18,000 feet 500 millibars there goes the system through the pacific northwest and you can see we try to build a bit of a ridge here across some of the pacific ocean just off the coastline here that's so we're going to warm up a little bit here but we don't really build a ridge yet in the short term we kind of flatten things out a zonal flow across the pacific northwest gulf of alaska being quite active as we go into early next week you can see some stronger systems moving through the pacific northwest there and then the models off in the extended forecast you can see the heat dome building across the intermountain west in the rocky mountains here and just where this sets up how far east will this be how far west will it be well big differences on the temperatures we're going to expect here across much of the southwest you can see the deep troughing out over the pacific ocean especially for this time of year showing up in the extended forecast but we're looking 10 days out so we'll just continue to watch things at this point if we take a look at uh, sacramento international airport you can see uh, warming up here a bit like we mentioned at the end of the week then we drop back down a hair and you can see again where that heat dome sets up you can see some of these temperatures getting pretty lofty off in fantasy land here but we'll be watching that here as we go over uh, the next few days Composite reflectivity as we go through the afternoon today. This is the North American model. High resolution is hot off the presses. And it does fire a couple storms here across the Sierra Nevada today and some across in, uh, central and northeast Nevada into Idaho as we go through this afternoon. So heads up for that. Even maybe a shower or two across northeast California as well. Now if we take a look at 80 meter wind speed here, so uh, you'll notice as we scroll through the afternoon hours, if you watch this channel on a regular basis, we pick up those wind speeds as we go through the afternoon hours across some of the southern Sierra Nevada, especially northern Sierra Nevada picks it up, peninsula ranges and the coastal areas. And that's because we warm up the interior much more than you do the coastal areas. The Pacific Ocean obviously is not heating up much compared to the land during the daytime. So you've got that big contrast and that strong gradient that drives these northwest and these westerly winds across the area. And it happens in the afternoon, of course, with when peak heating does occur <clears throat> we take a look at water temperatures right off the coastline here you can see um, many of the areas here along the immediate coast are below average right now so take that into account if you're going off to the coastal areas just something of note there and taking a look at significant wave height and direction a lot of wind driven stuff up and down the coastline right now and then as we go off into the extended you can see the gulf of alaska really active here as we go through next week so that could push a swell down towards california as we go on this next week at some uh, period we'll continue to watch that 
that as well because there's going to be a lot of uncertainty at this time range. Look at the 6 to 10 day. You can see the above average signal here across much of the western USA through June 6th. And there's the precipitation outlook here. And not They continue to broad brush us for the west coast. Anytime they see a trough, they just kind of put <laughs> above average conditions all the way down into California here. But take that with a grain of salt. I probably wouldn't even have that. I would just leave it at near normal. 8 to 14 day. And again, signs of that big heat dome developing across the Intermountain West. And again, take that with a grain of salt in the precipitation outlook. But yeah, watch out for some thunderstorm potential a little bit again here today across the Sierra Nevada. We'll continue to watch the extended forecast here to see what is coming and if that heat dome is going to build and how strong it's going to be and how far west that thing will set up. But anyway, I am in Lubbock, Texas today. I will be out there chasing storms and I hopefully will catch another tornado today. Four straight chase days of having a tornado. So we're going to try to extend that to five today. Even though the percentages are quite low, hopefully they will increase here as we go through the week but anyway looking to get back out there and start chasing again after two off days after catching a very glorious tornado on saturday so anyway i hope you guys are having a good day click like and subscribe we'll do this again tomorrow potentially and i will talk to you guys then